Aaron, Andrew Heaney got off to a rough start in those first two innings through about 40 pitches. How was he able to settle in and give you guys six? It, it, huge. Um, you know, obviously a tough first start for him and wanting to get back out there and then to give up, you know, four in the first two innings. You know, that first inning, we don't make a play, and then it, then at 0 2, he hangs a, hangs a breaking ball and gets a Yankee Stadium homer against him. You know, and then he loses strike zone a little bit in that second. But, man, he, he made the adjustment, found it. You know, he's, he's a hitter away from going out. You know, normally I wouldn't even let him go that long in the second. But, obviously, you know, our situation today, we needed it. And he stepped up and settled into a rhythm and a groove. Um, he wanted to go back out for the seventh even. And just really proud of that effort. That's a tough effort right there when you're coming to a new team, you're trying to find your way, you're up against it and you keep on going. And I, I just thought it was a really good performance by him. What does that say about him, considering how rough the first two looked and even his first outing, he, he really did not pitch the way he would have liked to? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part, of, part of being a pro, part of being a big leaguer, part of playing here when you're playing for a lot. You know, it's, it's not always pretty and it's not always easy, and you got to just keep your nose down. And, and he did a great job of that, and, and I'm just really proud of his effort. The offense battled back there in that sixth inning. Did you think off the bat there was any chance Odor's ball was going out? Uh, I, I did. Um, I, I thought it had a chance because he stayed through it really well. Um, so I, I thought it had a chance, yes. Uh, wasn't sure, uh, but it did. A little unorthodox a little unor for a home run? Yeah, it was a little, little Anthony rizzo -y. when you go down to the knee and keep, keep that bat in the zone for a while, and, and he was able to clip it just enough and stay through it just enough on a pitch that he was a little bit fooled on. Higashioka coming off the bench, just how impressive was, was his at-bat and his ability to get it done in that situation? Yeah, I thought Glaber had a good at-bat in front of him, um, and then Higgy... You know, with two strikes, got a pitch he could handle and and uh, and put it really put a charge into it and and uh, yeah, that was that was huge today for those guys coming off the bench there and and contributing and um, you know we didn't know how we were going to necessarily do it today, but a, a really good job by everyone of just knowing the importance, keep playing, hang around, and uh, they got it done. Justin Shackle, go ahead. Aaron, it's uh, four straight come from behind wins. How much has the element of resiliency contributed to the increased energy that everyone's been talking about? Yeah, I think so. Um, look, we, we're playing for a lot, and everyone is keenly aware of that. We show up. It's about us. It's about trying to figure out a way to get a win, and, um, and, and that's the kind of, I feel like, selflessness we're seeing right now from, from guys of just you know I had guys <laughs> pitchers walking in my office today saying I can pitch when you know probably staying away from a few guys obviously and uh, you know they're hungry in there they're playing well and and they know they got to keep playing well Greg Joyce go ahead Aaron, what was going through your mind in the, in the second inning when you had to get the bullpen up, just given how many guys you used yesterday? Um, I, I was thinking at some point Anthony Rizzo is going to be pitching in this game, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, it was for him to get out of that inning and kind of come together and then not only get out of the inning and give us a little bit of length, but then go on and give us six innings and keep us in the ball game was huge. And then what happened with Chapman? Is that something he's been dealing with or, or how long might that keep? Um, he, he had a little bit in Miami. Um, he got an MRI. The MRI was, was good news. You know, he, he's, so I think it's just going to be a few days of no throwing and then should be able to ramp up from there. Um, you know, so I'm hopeful that on that 10th day he's activated. Um, just a little bit of inflammation. Brendan Cuddy, go ahead. Who's your closer until then? Well, I mean, Britt, Low, Greeny depends on a given night. You know, all guys that I feel feel great about handling it. Um, you know, Abreu closed it out last night. So, you know, it's... 
all hands on deck. Um, but obviously, Britt has a ton of experience in that, and 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 Low and Greeny we've seen back there now, and obviously Low got it done today. So we'll just kind of mix and match depending on on who's uh, who's up. You know, there'll be days obviously we're staying away from guys, but uh, you know, whatever the situation calls for. And maybe this goes a little bit without saying, but how big has the wise to been for you guys, and how important is that he continues? doing what he's doing in light of Chapman's injury. Yeah, he's 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 a really good pitcher and, you know, you've heard us our excitement about him now for the last several years and he's continued to get a little bit better, a little bit better and obviously this year he's 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 broken through and become, you know, one of the game's really really good relievers and yeah, he's huge for us.